Well, good morning. Uh, just uh, finished a little bit of work and thought I'd uh, come back and just do a little bit more thinking about the E4406A. Uh, uh, as you remember from the last videos, you know, we're looking at uh, uh, this uh, relay switch here, and I've replaced this with a mini circuits uh, item. And we're looking at, uh, I was wondering about the control signals coming out of uh, uh, U26 here and seeing what uh, uh, is happening with that. So if we take a look at the uh, circuit diagram, you'll see uh, those parts here. This is uh, U38, which is the switch, and this is uh, uh, U26, which is the op amp. So if we zoom in on, whoop, let me just zoom in on the op amp there. You know, what you'll see here is a classic uh, no feedback op amp. So we have a voltage divider set, um, that's going to give us a voltage here, and then as the cal switch control voltage goes up and down, it will basically flip-flop uh, these values here. And because there's no feedback, this uh, op-amp should drive to the rails. Now, it won't quite drive to the rails because there is a bit of uh, you know, overhead for the op-amp, but you'd get you know, 9 volts or so if you look at the data sheets. I think it didn't give a great uh, a view of that. It was just a uh, uh, sort of a graph. Anyway, we uh, looked at this and we are getting the voltages switch back and forward. So one would expect that uh, that control is correct. And they come up here and they go into our switch here. And we're seeing those voltages here. And I'm seeing a little bit of noise on uh, the, the rails here. So I removed those uh, caps and uh, nothing really changed. What we noticed was that uh, without the U38 in place, if I bridge from pin 8 to pin 2, the item will calibrate correctly. So what I'm wondering is if um, driving this to plus you know, and minus 9 uh, is taking advantage of a, a, a sort of a, an undocumented feature of the 1GG74128 uh, here in that it can run to those positive voltages. Because the data sheet for the MGS 71018 and to the mini circuits um, switch that I have says that you should stop at uh, zero volts. And um, it uh, does in fact have a problem when you go above uh, you know, that eight volts. So uh, let's take a look at, uh, uh, at uh, the operation of the, the unit. Now what I have here is I have a 500 megahertz uh, signal coming in at, um, let's set that for 500 megahertz, and we'll set the span to be 10 megahertz, and then if I put a marker in here at 500 megahertz, you can see that, you know, I have a, a signal in there, that blue line is the average, and so you can see there is a signal there above the noise, but it's very, very low. It's like 60, 70 dB low uh, right now. And uh, uh, what I wanted to try was to see whether or not uh, I could make that signal higher. So what I have here is I have a little clip. And this little clip uh, that I got, for it's a little Pomona uh, SOIC clip, uh, is a clip that we can put uh, over the U26 here and now you know I can see what the voltages are easily that are coming out of U26 so if we look uh, pins 1 and 7 are the control line so if we look at pin oh, let me get the wires out of the road and get my hand out of the road so you can see what the, the voltage are if we look here we're getting 8 volts there and we're getting 9 volts there so now what should happen if my hypothesis is correct that we're overdriving uh, this guy here then if I just simply ground one of those pins I should be able to lock it into place um, on one on that uh, uh, for that particular switch because you know we'll be able to uh, you know it'll go to ground it'll so it'll hold there so uh, if I select pin 1 here and ground that, if we now have a look at the front signal, what we'll see is now, you know, we've gotten more signal through there. So if I come back to system, 
and select alignments and then try doing align all, we'll see what happens. Now, it'll fail pretty quickly up here on the gain curve. You can see we've got a little bit of, uh, of uh, gain out there. You know, you could see a little bit of the signal. And, you know, we'll fail all of that uh, completely. So now, let me swap that pin from pin 7 over to, to sorry, from pin 1 over to pin 7. Okay. So there we have, we're now grounding the other way. And if we come back here now, you'll see that we have 20 dB of our signal uh, coming through. But again, if I go back to alignments, I suspect that uh, it still will not align. And here you can see, bam, there's zero signal coming through. So I don't really know where uh, the problem is now uh, with this. And I'm sort of a bit at a loss uh, because I looked at the, the power lines, uh, the rails, and even without the caps, there's really not a lot of uh, noise uh, on those lines. So I don't think it's a power problem. Uh, you know, and if I come in and let's just take uh, this clip off here. If I uh, select a, a line, oh, I want to go back. I want to align now, and I, you know, bridge pins. Now, how? So if I bridge pins. two here and pin eight and now select the line all now you'll see that it successfully You know, it all successfully aligns. So there appears to be a problem, you know, there really appears to be a problem somewhere in here, you know, because once I take that out of a out of connection, the system can track that 50 megahertz uh, signal and then get it. But if I, regardless of what uh, I set up over here, it doesn't appear to make any difference uh, to that IC. So I'm starting to think there's something special about those 1GG7 uh, 4218 uh, integrated circuits that uh, make the thing work properly. Uh, if you have any ideas, I'd be more than happy to take some uh, suggestions uh, on uh, what the problem is. Anyway, hopefully I'll get a bit more time this weekend and we'll be able to poke around and give it a try. If you uh, like the ongoing series of the E4408-06 uh, uh, randomization in terms of uh, repair, give it a thumbs up. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Bye.